stage again. <laughs> what breakfast did you have this morning? Um, well, Doc, I knew that I was going to have an early morning and an early start to the day today. And uh, I was going to be working, so I was going to have quite a bit of a gap between breakfast and lunch. Uh, so breakfast today was slightly heavier than what I normally have. Okay. Uh, I had a bagel and uh -huh. I had um, a cheese omelette. Sounds okay. terrible uh, already. Cheese omelette uh, is no problem, but bagel I have a problem. I, as a dentist, you know, uh, we have a problems like gum diseases which uh, Prabha just mentioned. Right. But we have a major problem of dental cavities. And yes. bagel is like a bread. And if you right. see bread is, you know, it's not sticky here. But when mixed with saliva, it becomes a little sticky. And it stays on the mouth, and the carbohydrates breaks into sugar, and that sugar is a problematic issue. And that sugar breaks into glucose and maltose. And if that sticks on the tooth surface, well, you have to face for the oh cavities. God. No, that doesn't sound very good at all. You just made me feel even more guilty about having <laughs> that bagel than I did this morning. But Doc, I want to ask you, so this is pretty serious because my husband being an athlete okay. obviously has a really strict eating and exercise regime, uh, but he's quite a bit of a sweet tooth. So he loves his donuts and his chocolate cake and I know already what you're going to say to me. I can see it coming. But you know, we, we love these patients who uh, eat chocolates and donuts and all. You know, but when I entered in the morning, I went for a breakfast and right. the same thing was there. You have a donut, yeah. a donut with chocolate. We got a donut with sugar, and we got a pastry also. Now, all these thing contains, of course, I spoke about glucose and maltose, but it also contains sugar in the form of sucrose. So we got one more sugar in the form of sucrose, which is dangerous. There were pastries also, which is also sticky, and it's quite dangerous. And I saw sandwiches. Now, you say sandwiches is good, but the no. bread is sticky. It sticks on the tooth surface, and again, because, sucrose, oh. I mean, maltose and glucose. So everything contains some sort of sugar. And then when you go for a break for a coffee, we have a cookie. Cookies. And this cookie also contains <laughs> glucose and maltose. But besides that, there are different types of cookies. And if you see this cookie. Yeah, those are my husband's favorite. Yeah. And what is there? White. White is, of course, a dairy product. And it is lactose in the form of sugar. Now, again, there is a sugar, sugar, and sugar. And that is dangerous for the tooth. And it causes cavities. I know exactly what you're saying, Doc. So as a mom now, uh -uh. I've tried to keep my daughter away from sugar for as long as possible. How old is she? But she's two years, four months now. She started going to birthday parties. Uh -huh. And like all kids, she goes straight for the birthday cake and the chocolates and the candies. <laughs> and it's becoming increasingly difficult keeping her from them. I mean, it's I mean, I can understand. You know, most of the parents, uh, it's very difficult. And especially grandparents, it's difficult to keep Completely. children away from the chocolates. <laughs> but you know, you've got chocolate in two form. One is yeah. this chocolate, which is sticky, and one are candies. Please tell me now the healthy chocolate, chocolate is more <laughs> dangerous than this candy because chocolate is sticky, it sticks on the tooth surface. And it contains sucrose, which is a heavy sugar, and that again is a dangerous part. This is okay, but it melts in the mouth, but again is heavy sugar. And when I say heavy sugar, you know, when you start a car, you require this much petrol or this much petrol. Right. Similarly, whether you've got one candy or small chocolate or a big bunch of chocolate, sugar is sugar, and it starts I the cavity that. formation. I get that. But Doc, there has to be, I mean, there has to be healthy foods that we eat every day as well, right? That combat, I mean, you know, in some way, You're talking about day, but there are parties also. As sure. you mentioned about children party, but right. there are elder parties. Yes. And when you go for elder parties, uh, well, we have soft drinks. We have chips, right. and chips are there for children also. For sure. Now, chips sound very brittle when I break here, but when it mix with saliva, right. it is so sticky that it doesn't go with the rinsing of your mouth also. So this is another culprit because this, or these soft drinks or wines, what you have, contain acid. It develops, you know, your saliva becomes acidic. Jesus. Again, this gives acid. Again, glucose and maltose, and again you have cavities. Oh, so God. cavities all along because of sugar acid. But and we sugar have healthy food there. also, Doc, that combats. No, that doesn't combat. Like, I mean, dalia and rotis and... Uh, rotis you know. are okay. But if you talk about pastas and pizzas Pasta. and noodles, well, no way. They're sticky and that's going to create a problem. <laughs> I have to stop cooking at home. What am I going to oh, eat? Well, 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 well. Fruit. Well. I'll feed them fruit. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you else? talked about fruit. I've got two. Oh, no. Now, you know, we say apple a day keeps doctors away. But we as a dentist say that apple a day keeps dentists closer to you. You know why? Because apple also is little sticky sticks on the tooth surface. Right. 
And then one more fruit which your husband really loves is banana. Yeah, he's got it caught side with him yeah, because all the time. It's all, energy. Yeah. All the tennis players, you have bananas in between. Right. And also children. Yeah. You know, it's a stable diet. Yeah. But unfortunately, this banana contains fructose, like your apple. Right. And the fructose is also a sugar. And banana is very sticky. So I, the, the biggest advice is that for small children, if you're giving banana and milk, see that you rub your teeth. Because all these acids in the form of sucrose in chocolates, maltose and glucose in biscuits and uh, cookies and other things. And then you've got fructose in this in and sucrose in chocolate. So all these sugar acids, sugar acids, and this is acid which caused the problem. Oh, God. Okay, so, Doc, we've been, uh, I mean, you heard it already on stage, and I pretty much grew up as a Colgate household. I mean, I think we used Colgate right through from the time I was a child, and I've been brushing my teeth. And, uh, you know, I'm inculcating the habit in my daughter to brush twice a day. She brushes in the morning. She brush brushes before she That's goes good to habit. bed. But if there's these kind of sugar acids in the mouth, Doc, I mean, how... And what can you do then? Okay. I mean, what let is it me, going to cause? Me what is going to be the... Let me explain to you how the sugar acids. Let me see on the slides the sugar acids, you know. Uh, well, your mouth contains uh, saliva. This is sugar acid is the main cause. Right. The saliva, and when you eat, and when you eat, the saliva pH goes down. And the, when the pH goes down, we got sugar acids and bacterias. And these bacterias, we strive on these sugar acids, creates an acidic medium, and anything acid, can eat away something, as far as tooth is concerned, the calcium and phosphate comes out of the tooth. And the balance is not there. Saliva is good. It brings back the calcium and phosphate on the tooth surface. But too much of sugar acids can create imbalance. And that imbalance, a lot of things come out. And then what we see is the formation of a cavity. cavity. And then that took, takes away enamel, takes away dentin. And you see the dark area is a cavity. And that oh cavity is irreversible. There's only, in, in dental cavities are the only cavities which are irreversible. You can do pranayam and say diabetes can go down. You can do pranayam and say, you know, your blood pressure goes down. But cavity filling has never taken place. Right. So you have to be careful of the sugar acids. But Doc, as a mom I know, right from the start, from the time your child actually starts developing even her milk teeth, Cavities just becomes one of the biggest banes of your life because you're constantly trying to fight this battle. Yes. So, so by the looks of it, there's no food that's going to actually prevent them from forming. You know, so what, what is it? You know, what usually is there I that say, can you know, be done? that uh, if you want to avoid dental decay, right. you have to eat through your nose. Well, that's well, one that's form of yoga. And but then <laughs> if you can, you know, like sugar acid creates a low pH. Right. And we have fluoride in the tooth, I mean the toothpaste all the time. But fluoride can protect the tooth after the acid attack takes place. But if there is any innovation by anybody which will stop these sugar acids and neutralizes that. In the mouth. In the mouth of course. The right. sugar acids which are there sticking on the plaque. The plaque is a very sticky substance on the tooth surface. Right. Where the bacteria goes in, sugar acid goes in, right. you form a cavity. But the sugar acid is neutralizes by anything. Right. I think we, the dental profession, will be very happy because you are preventing the dental decay. And instead of eating through your nose, right. you can through your mouth, oh, brush twice a day, but be prevent nice. dental decay. <laughs> yeah. So if that kind of a major breakthrough has to happen, Doc, in the dental world, yes. I mean, this takes care of a hell of a lot, not just for mothers, but for basically your entire the health of your family, your I mean, own you oral can, hygiene. You can, you can eat whatever is on this table. You can eat right. everything and think of that, okay, I will not have dental cavities. That's fantastic. If I take care of sugar acid, which are dangerous. That's fantastic. That's, in, that's a very important aspect. So that's what uh, you're looking for as a dentist, and that is exactly what Colgate has uh, done and has innovative on. So uh, I'd like to thank both of you for thank that you very, very interesting session. I'm sure we thank all learned a lot. It was an eye-opener for all of us. So thank, thank you, Lara, and thank you, uh, Dr. Mayaker. Lara will definitely be up on stage again for Well, thanks, uh, Dr. Shashank, for this uh, great presentation, which highlights the innovation and technology that we have brought in in this new product. Now it is time where we actually see as how Colgate Maxim Cavity Protection with sugar acid neutralizer neutralizes sugar acid as compared to a regular fluoride toothpaste.
Here we have a bottle of soft drink, which is an ideal representative of sugar acid. Also, we have a bottle of indicator. This indicator turns acidic solutions pink and neutral solutions colorless. Let's add a few drops of this indicator to the soft drink solution. Let's see if the color changes to pink or it remains colorless. plus sugar acid neutralizer, a breakthrough technology, a breakthrough in oral care. Very special moment. Photographers, you are now allowed to come forward. Thank you. Photographers will now open up the floor. In two seconds, with it, with it, always, please, <laughs> with it. Is this beautiful smile? Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, Laura. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will now open the floor to question and answers, and I'd like to hand the session over to Deepshika Dharmraj from Genesis Burst and Marsteller, who will uh, moderate the session. So, over to you, please. Thank you so much. Uh, if the photographers are done with the... Okay, last couple of those. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I will now request the photographers to please go back. You will get another opportunity after the Q&A. I would open up the floor for any questions that you have. May I please request you to ask your questions specifically on this launch. Okay. We have our spokespersons on the stage who will be very happy to answer any of your questions. I have colleagues who have mics, so please, if you can raise your hand. Can see Everyone at the back. Yeah. Thank you. So, who'd like to go with the first question? Yeah, just our last. Okay, we have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, Lara, since you are a public figure, yeah, here, uh, left, yeah. 
there at the yes. back. Can you introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, this is Zuhair from Pro Bollywood. Hi. Uh, so, Lana, since you're a public figure and uh, being a Bollywood celebrity, people follow you like sure. anything. Whatever you say, whatever you speak, it makes the news. So, when it comes to endorsing a product, uh, coming up uh, to support a product, like uh, how conscious are you about the credibility of the product? Like. Uh, well, I have been associated with Colgate before, and whoever has ever followed my career in any which way know that I associate myself with very, very few products. Like I said up here earlier, I've been a Colgate household for as long as I can remember. And uh, if there is a name that I trust, I don't think any of us really need to be introduced to Colgate ever because it's a household name in our country. I think it's fantastic. It's a name that you also trust when they do have breakthroughs, when they do have innovations. Um, you know, there are innovations constantly and breakthroughs constantly in the field of medicine and medical technology and science. So why not dentistry? You know, and I think one of the pioneers of this has always been Colgate. So as a mom, as a wife, um, the health of my family is my utmost, you know, of importance to me. And I think dentistry is one part that we overlook quite a bit. It's, I mean, we're like, we've all discussed Thank today you, you. that we you know we are constantly battling cavities and root canals and things like that but it's so overlooked and it's also one of the most expensive <laughs> you know medical <laughs> procedures but that I'll you can go through expensive. no so I, I would you. yeah but I would much rather have prevention Hello. rather than cure and so it's fantastic to really be able to associate with a product like this Hello. okay uh, we have a gentleman in front uh, can you give him the mic please Tanisha that's Farooq, Farooq Jasawala. Farooq. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, question, general question, of course, but then uh, Colgate, Colgate being Colgate, I suppose okay, there is no two ways about it to ask certain things. But uh, this was a prominent thing for the sugar asset, uh, this product. And I think that is the biggest enemy so far as you have diagnosed. Now, we have always been concentrating on the food products. Okay, they go into the cavities and they remain, and this has to be cleared. And of course, at the last, uh, we came across the, uh, what is known as cold drinks, the soft drinks or whatever, which contain the maximum sugar. Uh, as and far the, as and that's uh, acidity, yeah. Yes, uh, of course, doctor, uh, that was emphasized there. But do you think then uh, this being the major factor, does it remain on our teeth? And if it is so, immediately after the cold drinks, uh, we could brush the teeth and have it go. So it's what happens when you have cold drinks? Cold drinks contain acid. They are acidic, basically. So your saliva pH goes down. And then you're eating chips or anything else. Again, you get a sugar acid, which is on the tooth. So basically, the pH goes down. And that pH is causing problem as a cavity. But if you brush, and if you remove that part and make your mouth a little alkaline, by having water and then having the sugar acid neutralizer, then the cavity formation can reduce. It's not going to totally stop, but it will reduce the, the formation of cavity. So basically, we are attacking the pH of your mouth, which is very important. So every time you eat, after eating you have water, that neutralizes the saliva pH. But what happens to the pH on the tooth surface, that has to be taken care of. And the expert can also tell you that the, when you brush with this neutralizer, the research has been done that a pH is always go down, neutralizes because of this neutralizing uh, uh, product which is having in. I think I just want to and add on this. Please. Yeah. I just want to add here, I think uh, I agree with uh, Dr. Maikar. I think uh, nature has gifted us saliva, uh, which is already in the dynamic, uh, you know, it always the, remains.